There she is, boys. There she is, boys and girls. There she is, the F-14 Tomcat. Holy shit. There it is, guys, the signature vehicle for War Thunder's latest update, titled Danger Zone, the F-14A Tomcat. There it is, there it is. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Underpowered engines and all. So, this is the F-14A. It's the early, early version of the F-14. There are several different versions with the different uh, different technology here. I don't even know what to really call this thing on the uh, the chin sensor thing. I don't know. I don't know what it's called. Anyway, um, so yeah, uh, an extremely maneuverable and simultaneously very fast, very capable aircraft uh, because of these swing wings. Can also carry some very impressive weapons loadouts. Now, this one didn't actually carry any air-to-ground ordnance in real life, but Gaijin gave it a bunch of bombs and such. So, we'll use it probably for some bombing, but primarily I'm just going to focus on the air-to-air -air aspect of this because that's really... The fleet defense interceptor mission of the F-14 is what I'm primarily most interested in here. So, I got mine as a fully spaded test drive, of course, so I have all the weapons and all the modifications unlocked. But it will come to you unspaded. And then you'll get just a pair of AIM-9Ds as a, a stock air-to-air -air loadout. And then after that, you've just got all kinds of loadouts. And then, of course, you can make your own presets, which is very nice they actually pulled my presets over from the uh um dev server because i didn't actually make these presets in the live server so that's interesting um so yeah you can get four aim 90s once you unlock the aim 90s which would be nice to double your air to air capability and then you can upgrade aim 9g's and aim 9h's and then aim 70s aim 7f's and then of course the phoenix missile which is the tomcat's signature weapon Designed for the F-111 Aardvark when it was originally supposed to be the uh, Fleet Air Defense Interceptor, but the Navy rejected it. The Air Force took it on as a strike aircraft, and then the Navy adopted the AIM-54 for the F-14 when they adopted the F-14. How about that? Kind of interesting. Uh, this missile was actually based off of the AIM-4 Falcon missile, which was originally designed for... Um, the AA-12, which is the interceptor version of the SR-71. So talk about some crazy lineage and some crazy s sequence of events to lead to the uh, AIM-54s being on board the F-14A launching off aircraft carriers. How about that, huh? So, yeah, there we go. Uh, there's also a bunch of rockets, a bunch of bombs, and uh, yeah, we're not really focused on those. So with the create you know the dial a weapon preset let's uh make another one because i want one with some sparrows here so we'll throw uh aim 9h and an aim 9h over here and then we'll put a phoenix there and a phoenix there and then we'll put four sparrow f's on the center line yo wait hang on hang on okay there we go and there we go. So now we got one with six Phoenix, and we've got one with four Sparrows, two Phoenix, and two Sidewinder H's. To take it in stock, I'm going to go in with... Uh, I'm going to take this thing for one, one battle until I get a decent kill. We're going to go fully stock in this airplane. We're going to take all these modifications off. It's going to hurt, and it's going to be painful, but um, I will take this in and give you guys the... Uh, at least the stock view here with a pair of AIM 9Ds. And um, after I get a kill, we'll switch over and we'll start messing around with all the different loadouts in it. Because this is probably going to be a long video and I've already talked too long, so we're going to cut it off here and get right into 
flying the thing. But first things first, let's check the camouflages and see if there are any skins for it. I've seen people with some. There are. Okay, so we've got experimental tricolor with insignia of VF1 Wolfpack for 520 kills. Let's see what that looks like. Well, that looks like it didn't load right, so we'll try that again. There we go. All right, that's pretty sweet. I like that. That's actually pretty cool. I like that one. 520 kills. Goodness gracious. Starfighters camouflage for VF-33 Starfighters, USS America. Purchasable for 200 Golden Eagles. Let's see what this one looks like. Oh, cool. Another error. Um, Kick back to that. Okay, there we go. That one's pretty nice, too. Pretty nice. Let's see if the Bounty Hunters camouflage for 750 kills comes through. We'll give it five more seconds to see if it finishes populating. I don't think it's going to. Nope. So we'll go back to standard, and then we'll look at the Bounty Hunters again. There we go. That's pretty nice. And will the F-14A BF-32 Swordsman camouflage work, which is a marketplace camo? Yes, it actually did. Off the Kennedy. Okay. Well, there we go. I'm not going to purchase any of these camouflages. We're going to stick with the standard camo. Blurred out, though it is. And uh, we'll go from there. Okay, stock. Here we go. Pair of AIM 90s. Let's get to it. All right, here we go. Canopy down. And let's launch. So, I brought 30 minutes of fuel because I know that the... Um, Fuel, uh, the fuel consumption on these engines with the uh, burners on full is pretty, pretty high. So, all right, here we go. Number one, number two. Up we go. We have fourteens. We got here. Yeah, a couple. All right, so let's uh, turn the radar off. Get low, get fast. So we've got a pair of sidewinders, and that's it. Yeah, look at that fuel burn. Holy crap. I brought 30 minutes, and I'm down to 7 just after takeoff. Yep. After burner off. After burner off. Oh my god. You may want to consider bringing the entire full hour load on fuel there. Holy cow, that's hilarious. All right, so let's get a look in the cockpit while we're here. Nice. Nice. Can we see the back seater? No. Talk to me, Goose. Or Sundown or Hollywood or any one of the other 19 different uh, back seaters from the original Top Gun movie. I haven't seen Top Gun Maverick yet. I'll see it eventually, but... Ah, there's somebody out ahead. Got somebody straight out ahead. Oh, it's this F-8 straight at us. Wow, okay. What do you get him with a Sparrow? Or is that maybe the F-8, the AIM-9H? Dang. All right then. I was looking to uh, go in for a tail sidewinder shot there, but man, that was pretty sweet. Okay, so. Do we dare go get involved in the battle? Down to 20 minutes of fuel. I'm going to have to bring more fuel. 30 minutes might be okay, but it also may not be enough. Okay. Here we go. There are other F-14s out there, which is not surprising in the absolute least. That's going to be the way for a long time. <laughs> I think we can get after this guy. Had a chance at him there. Easy, 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 baby, easy. Oh, he's down. All right. Need cover. Anybody left? Oh yeah, there's a few. Let's clear.
clip that real quick. Okay, let's go get involved. Here we go. I mean, I'm going to launch it just because, but I don't think it's got any chance of hitting him. Well, that maneuver didn't really work, now did it? Easy, okay, well, he's down. Lock him up, lock him up. I got him! Holy crap. I got him with the AIM 9D. No kidding. Oh, that could be an issue. We better get turned around here. Uh, hopefully, that missile is not coming at me. It is not. Okay, here we go. Did I not get. Well, I got his tail, so I think I got him. Oh, yeah, I think we got two kills in our first flyout. Yeah, all right. How about that? And that seems to have done it for the battle, actually. Not bad. A Sidewinder kill, and a gun kill, and a stock airplane. Ah! Okay, two kills in my very first flyout. With AIM 9Ds, no less. One of them with AIM 9Ds. The other had to head with the cannon, but hey, whatever. Kills a kill, boys. Kills a kill. Okay, let's uh, get the radar and track while scan mode. Crank it out to 93. We'll turn on the Phoenix. And how many F-14s we got here? We definitely have F-14s on the enemy team, so we're going to stay low. Uh, three on our team. Okay, up we go. So, let's... Ooh, it's an enduring conflict battle map. Oh, so we may actually have some long-range actual fight here. Fantastic. I'm going to get up to speed. I brought 45 minutes of fuel this time, which, as you can see, is rapidly dwindling. So I'm going to burn... Oh, my God. I'm going to burn... I'm going to burn out this way a bit, and then um, when we get down to about, say, 30 minutes of fuel, I'll cut the throttle back to about 90% or so. And then, depending on how long it takes to get down to 30 minutes of fuel, we'll start to... Uh, prepping to fire phoenixes. I think 89 kilometers is probably a little far away. It's well within the real range of the F-14, but... But I don't think it's going to actually work in, uh, in game here, so... So we'll cut down in. Just about... 35 minutes. We're still a bit far away, but I um, wonder if I could actually hit somebody from this far. I kind of doubt it. I only have two of them, so I don't really want to uh, engage from too far away. Is there any info on the lock, uh, lock range 16, launch range 150. So, technically... Punch one off. Let's see what happens. All right. Now we'll cut the speed down. Well, a little more than that. Come on, missile. All right. We'll boost it up to a little less than. That should be good. Okay. Kick back over to. Sparrows here. Let's see what we can do. Okay. Radar locks are from behind, so we're okay. The boy's still tracking. See if we can get a uh, 
guide on somebody from 20 clicks out with a Sparrow F. And also, is it a real player? It might be. Could be. I'm pretty sure it is. Oh yeah, these are real players. Oh my god, that's not even... I got him. guns on this guy. He's gonna fly into the mountain. Got nowhere to go. He is on fire. We're not gonna steal him. Good job, buddy. But I also don't want to fly in front of him, so... Alright, well done. Our fuel back down a little bit here. 25 minutes, we're good. Let's see if we can pick anybody else up on radar. Back to the sparrows. All right, good deal. Whoa, buddy! Easy, easy on the flyby there, sport. There, aisle 28, 47 What else do we have? Phoenix 6 still flying? Nope. Alright. I'm sure my Phoenixes weren't able to actually acquire any targets on their own because I didn't give them enough guidance to get to their terminal homing phase. Which, you know, it happens. Oh, good. My squad mate wants to be funny. Hopefully, he's not trying to, like, fly close by to be a pain. He's just trying to, like, actually escort to be a wingman, which is what it seems like. Target's up there, though. Should we head back that way? I think we should. Yeah, let's head back this way. Let's head back this way and see what we can find. Okay, we got uh, enough time, enough fuel, if we can get a decent lock here on one of these actual enemy targets that we can confirm is an enemy and not a friendly, we'll punch a sparrow off at him. I can't tell what we're locking onto though. Well, that's one. That's definitely. Go for him. That is for sure an enemy. Let's hope the Sparrow can tell the difference. Got him. All right. Hopefully he was chasing our, in our teammate and not... Oh, no. Whoops. Oh, I didn't mean to launch there. That works. works too, I think. Alright. Beautiful. SU-7, 31 kilometers away. Um, how are we looking on the two enemies left? Four freaking air kills. Holy crikey. Uh, fuel is pretty good. Oh, there's an enemy right there. Get after him. Got two sidewinders left. 
All right, he's outrunning us for now. Let's get after him, though. Nope, no, 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 airplane, stop it. All right, we're good, we're good. One of the boys gets him here, that'll be just fine. All right. And, uh, hmm. Got one guy left. Possibly this guy. Uh. I'm to the base. Nope, it's not him. Okay, well, let's get after him. 34 kilometers, let's get on him. I don't know if we're going to beat everybody else to him, but we'll try it. Two Sidewinders left, here we go. Here we are. Critical. Got a crit on him. Not sure what it was, but we critted him. Easy, easy airplane. Do not break the wings. Do not break those wings. I don't know what I critted on him, but... Aaron? Seems like he's, yeah, he's definitely flaring. Uh, I don't want to shoot yet. How's fuel? Fuel, eight minutes. He's got flares for days, it looks like. We don't have fuel for days, but we do have fuel, so let's get after him. They got him. Bravo. Wait, did they? Yeah, they did. He's on fire. That should be an assist because I critted him. <laughs> he is uh, one stubborn fitter. There we go. There's an assist. All right. Well done, team. And we got four minutes to make it all the way back to base. Four minutes worth of fuel. No problem! I think this battle calls for some victory rolls. Alright! Not bad! Not bad for two battles. Oh my goodness. Now granted, the first battle I was fully stocked, and this battle I fully spaded it, but still. Glorious. This, uh... This might be a pretty fun airplane. All right, I think the last thing I'm gonna try is taking this into uh, Air Arcade Assault and see how it does with uh, Six Phoenix, because I think that would be absolutely glorious. All right, here we go. They are southeast. So, how's the Tomcat? Well, I've had two battles in the thing so far. I had two kills with it stock, and then I flew it spaded, and I got four and an assist. Damn. So it's pretty good. Maybe. Start. 
my god. <laughs> I karate chopped a uh, freaking jet, and I'm still flying. One away. Two away. Three away. Four away. Five away. Six away. Uh, I don't know. I haven't responded yet. Question. <laughs> I got one kill out of all those six Phoenix. Phoenix go bring. Yes. It's hilarious. If I get more than one kill, I'll be amazed. One. Yep, just one. Good thought. Away. Nice boys. Oh, nice. I still have ornaments. Nice. Solid runs. Oh my god, that was hilarious. So there we have it, folks. A quick little video for the F-14A. Uh, yeah, this is this is going to be a lot of fun. This is going to be a lot of fun when I unlock it in like a year. Because I've got an awful lot of the tech tree to finish grinding through <laughs> in order to get to the F-14A. But, uh, yeah. Anyway. Uh, I got three days... Three and a half days of test drive left. I'm going to see if I can get uh, one or two more videos out involving the Tomcat. And see if maybe I can finish the A-10. <laughs> Unlocking the A-10 with it. So there you go. Um, yeah, this is this is probably going to be the king of top tier for a little bit. Um, and for all the people who are immediately crying and screaming for a counter. Because, oh no, my MiG-23 and MiG-27 and Su-22s are not the kings of top tier. Well... That's the way it goes. Get used to it. Like, it doesn't immediately need a counter. It, it'll it get one before too long. Don't worry. But it doesn't immediately need a counter just because it's hard to defeat. Because if that was the case, we would have immediately had a counter for all the R60Ms that all the Soviet fighters got. The 4 and 6 all-aspect dogfight 60 freaking G R R60Ms that everybody's been spamming off. Those have been the king of top tier for quite a bit now, so it's all right that uh, something else gets to have a turn. And at some point, the F-14 won't be the top dog in Air RB anymore, but for now, it's okay that it is. Uh, because odds are you're going to have one on your team anyhow, so don't worry about it. Anyway, all that proselytizing aside, hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know what you thought in the comments below, and we'll see you in the next new vehicle video. Good luck out there, everybody, and... Uh, Make sure you uh, use your turn signals on the highway to the danger zone.